On our continued training using the voltmeter to do voltage drop, we're actually going to go through our circuit now and go step by step see if we can figure out where that voltage drop is. We saw we had about a three volt drop across the entire circuit. That's again going from the input of the battery to the actual positive and ground at the light. When we talk about voltage drop, first probably I'd make sure we understand what voltage drop means. A voltmeter only reads the difference between two different points. So if I look here, I have zero. This is my absolute zero. When I put my other lead here, all it's going to do is display the difference or however much voltage was lost between these two points. One of the biggest things people always mess up when they do this is they take the load away. You see this a lot on someone trying to diagnose a light. As you can see right here, I've taken the two light bulbs out. Switch is on. I have voltage. If you can see right here, I have my you know, approximately 12.6, which is what my input was. Since I don't have any current flowing because I took my load away, I can't have any voltage drop. I'm going to put my lights back in for right now. My load's on. My voltage drop is back. I'm just going to confirm that. Yes, I'm still only about 9.5, so I still have that 3-volt drop. I'll go back through now and I'm look step by step where is that drop. So first I'm going to check the ground side because I have a very simple circuit on the ground side. It just goes from the stud to the light. So I'm going to use my voltmeter. I got it set on voltage. Black lead on the ground stud, red lead on the ground for the light. My meter went down to millivolt scale, so it's 3.3 millivolts, which is almost nothing. Basically, there's no voltage drop on the ground side, so I know my big voltage drop's got to be somewhere on the positive side. I'm going to take my red lead, hook it up to my junction stud, or my input source. I'm going to use my black lead and go to the positive here on the light. I have a 3 volt drop on this side. So I can go back through and I know, okay, I'm going to be going into the relay here. I still have, you know, right at three volts, so I, you know, a little bit less, but very, very little. So I feel pretty confident, you know, this wire here is not the problem. I can go to the input side of the relay. Basically, I'm checking the, the contacts. So still right at three volts. I can go over to my fuse and check the, uh, the output side or the device side of it. Still very close to the same reading. I can go to the input, still right at 3 volt. I can check this connection here, still there. In the other side of my connector, still got 3 volts. So somewhere in this last little piece of wire, I have some kind of a big voltage drop. Now again, it can be an undersized wire, it can be a damaged wire, whatever, but says, hey, between these two points here is where my drop is. Don't mess around with the other 5,000 wires on this truck that we've narrowed it all the way down to this one point. And the reason why we use a voltmeter to do this test is it's very accurate. We're able to go step by step and isolate every little part of the circuit down. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that is where our voltage drop issue is. We can very easily repair this by simply putting a new wire in, but by using the same methods, we can go back through and retest it and make sure it was a valid test and it was a valid repair. Thank <laughs> you.